So you'll need some glow sticks, green ones preferably, because I know the activation energy for that one. Thermometer, beaker, test tube, scissors, light sensor, thermal probe, kettle, some tin foil, aluminium foil, actually aluminium foil, and a computer with the Logger Pro all set up. Okay, first of all, open up the glow sticks. I'm probably going to need two to have enough fluid. There are two chemical reactions. We want the second one, so the primary glow or the initial glow is going to take 10 minutes to fade. Then we're going to use the secondary glow. So let's test the light probe. Yep, that seems to work in response to light. I'm going to stick this in my armpit. Yep, that's going up. So both the probes work. Now I'm going to fix up the data collection. So that's going to be on the x-axis. And I need the natural log of the light coming in. So we're waiting 10 minutes for this to uh, finish the primary glow. Not sure what to do. So after about 10 minutes, take your glow sticks and we're going to transfer them into this test tube. Now a classic mistake is to try to do it like that. Obviously they're not going to come out until you remove the top. Now I got non-toxic glow sticks, but they do contain a little bleach and possibly a little broken glass. So you've still got to be a little careful. Now I'm going to add some hot water. I want to get the glow stick up to about 50 degrees. Notice how it glows more intensely as the temperature's increased. Okay, so that's about 60. So I'm going to want to make it a little cooler. So what I want to do now is I want to measure the temperature of the solution and measure how much light is coming off with the light probe. But obviously there's light in the room, so in order to just have light from the glow stick into the probe and not the ambient light, I'm going to try and wrap it up in tin foil. All right, let's go to Logger Pro. Don't video my, don't video my pass number. I love IB chemistry <laughs> sometimes. All righty, let's click collect. Line the best fit. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's the slope there. You have to look on that to see if it's in focus. So let's try and optimize that. Instead of it being for 10 seconds, let's say 30 seconds. And I want one sample a second. All righty. Line of best fit. 
Okay. Alrighty. That's pretty good. Alright, let's quickly go over the maths. There's the Arrhenius equation, and if we do the natural log business on it, we come out with that. I'm going to put a multiply by 1 there, you'll see why in a bit later. And so this is very similar to y equals mx plus c. There's a whole other video about this if you want more detail. So let's have a look at what a graph would look like. So that's the y-axis, x-axis. So if I plot ln k versus 1 over t, that's going to give me the Arrhenius line. Intersection with the y-axis, c, is going to be ln a. And the gradient m is going to be minus ea over r. Now, of course, it's not ln k in this experiment, it's ln lux. I'm going to use this third set of data that I got to work out the activation energy for the glow stick. So the gradient off of that Logger Pro printout is that. So my activation energy in joules per mole is 98,770. Convert to kilojoules per mole, and there we go. That's the activation energy. Let's compare it to the theoretical value. Ah, oh, interesting. So I can see that these people got it wrong by 50%. Oh, that's rather rude, Thornley. 